We made this little, Zach and I made this little, um, gosh, I don't know. I guess some people call it a to-go box, but this is just like a little field day kit. Wait, what? Yes, field day for CB radio, all right? Okay, now that we have that out of the way, uh, this is a GMRS uh, radio, and of course, you know what that is. And inside this little compartment that we have in here is a 12 amp hour LiPo battery. Something to that effect. I don't know, is it LiPo, Hydro? I don't remember, but it's one of those fancy new modern ones that's super spendy. And uh, it, it, it like weighs like a pound, it's crazy. So basically what I have here is I have master power on off. And of course that LED light, you know, burns out what, five hours into the whole thing. And over here, I've got like an eBay, Amazon voltage meter with a USB charger, which I'm actually using right now uh, to power the phone. Okay, so um, basically we have SO239. So this one's for the lower radio. This one's for the upper radio, right? I should label those one day. And uh, then we have power posts here. This is 12 volts in and out. So right now I'm using it for 12 volts out to get a clean raw DC power source to this. And I've been powering this off of here for, oh, all day for sure. And uh, we haven't really put a charge on this battery for a while. So this is going to need a little bit of battery love anyway. So um, we have a little compartment in here. And this project is not done. Uh, and basically what happened was, is we got this far and Zach took this out and started shooting skip with it. Took it out uh, one night uh uh, when, after we built this and uh, hooked up to the old worldwide most famous dog kennel antenna setup. And uh, he was not using the seven foot skip shooter. He was actually using a five foot uh, fire stick, tunable fire stick and um, worked out great. And he talked to the uh, Midwest, made a few contacts to the contacts to the Midwest out there. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that being said, uh, it's been in service and we, we haven't finished the project. So what I've got going on here is it's water resistant. It's not waterproof. And I never expect this to be waterproof, quite honestly, right? I mean, these old ammo cans, I don't know. So basically what we've got here is I've got some aluminum channel in here that I uh, riveted in here to make a mount for this uh, bezel here. And uh, this is a quarter inch... Um, yeah, it's quarter inch. It's quarter inch uh, uh, ABS plastic, right? And I took the sander and made my own texture to it. This was a, a shiny, glossy ABS on both sides. So uh, anyway, I hit this with the orbital sander and uh, it's got a lot of dirt on it, but when it's clean, it looks pretty nice. Anyway, so again, we've got 12 volts out and in, and in this compartment, which I need to finish, and that's another reason why it's been here, um, because the, uh, the non- 3M approved, my Amazon Velcro has gone TU, Tango Uniform. So anyway, I'm gonna finish out this compartment. Um, I use the uh, five millimeter knobs that come with the radio for that. The radio is in there, uh, solid as a rock. So is the battery. The battery is permanently mounted in there. This is all mounted in there, countersunk sheet metal screw, or, uh, stainless steel screws. This has a uh, black silicone sealant uh, forced through those. Um, and I do have a um, rubber washer inside that. So anyway, that's where the power's coming from. But anyway, this is a really fun little project. I know people go crazy and get all weird and go overboard on these, but you, you don't need to just make a nice simple one and it's just fine. Again, power in and out, antenna, little USB port, main on and off, uh, kill switch. And um, I do have it fused in here. We have fuse links that go to this, this, and the master fuse link. And I do need to bring on, uh, out a, a panel mount fuse or something and put in here somewhere for this. Uh, currently, I believe I have a 10 amp fuse in here. It's either a five or a 10. I know I was contemplating, but anyway, we've never blown it. Uh, no need for it. We don't really draw a lot of power off that anyway but this all works great. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.